the Sunrise News Feed this morning. The rules for Christmas buffets and parties. Etiquette experts say there are some things you should definitely not do. Here they are. Don't fill your plate more than twice. Fight. Don't fight with someone over the last piece of food. And if you're a meat eater, leave the vegan and vegetarian dishes for the vegans. Let's bring in social commentator Gretel Colleen, my co-host, former One Direction member and no solo superstar Niall Horan. And look who oh my is God. here. It's Berlin Wonderboy, <laughs> Hans the German. Honey, I'm going to say, Koshi, you are looking better than ever today. Yeah. Honey, Honey, I don't know what's going on, but he is looking fantastic. <laughs> I know. <He's> <laughs> what Niall. was that accent? Niall's <laughs> eyes are like, what is happening here? I, I wasn't. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> I just want to remind you guys that this is the new segment of uh, Sunrise. Very okay, serious. so treat it seriously. Yes. Yeah. So What's what, the subject? What Sam? are the rules for a festive fair? Let's start with Niall because okay. he's our international guest. All right. Now, what are the rules offended, for a buffet? <laughs> Rules for a buffet. Well, first yeah. of all, you have to sit with your paper crown on. That's yes. a must. Yes. yes. Uh, to be honest, but we don't generally do it buffet style, but I would agree with a lot of the ones you mentioned so far. You definitely... Well, actually, I wouldn't agree with... You definitely do need to fight over the last piece of food because... I think. Christmas Day is all about, like... Being fight, greedy. Like, being greedy and eating <laughs> right up until you fall asleep until on the couch and get up again. And but So it is... You definitely should fight for the last piece of food, in my opinion. Yeah, Hans, you look like you fought for every last piece of food. You know what? I love that we are talking about this subject, the buffet, on a morning where, frankly, backstage it has been like a buffet with all those <laughs> Magic Mike boys here today. But look, I say, you know, at a buffet, it's everyone for themselves, Sam. You know, just, it's a really, it's a metaphor for life. Wouldn't you agree, <laughs> Hans? It's yeah, go for it, put everybody else last. I Especially at Christmas time. It's not just a metaphor, and I think this is the important thing. Hans und Gretel, you may have noticed, oh, my yes. brother. Well done. Yes, well, like good and tart. Yeah. God, my. I think what people don't realise is that this is the last gateway of survival of the fittest. This is evolution. Yes. yes. This is the final test that we have. And I was interested to read that article because it gave me a couple more tips as to what I should do on the buffet. I would imagine you guys do all of them. But mm. did you know about draping your sleeve in the hummus? And did you know about coughing and sneezing on the food? Yes. Yes. Excellent ideas. No. But, and don't touch the food. <laughs> Do not touch the food with your hands. Yeah, I would, oh, please. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. To be fair. But what There's about, about the bread? People eating. What about the bread? He's people, no you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, but if I'm putting it in the toaster, who else is going to touch it? Well, it's just don't me. Use the tongs to put it in the toast. Well, this, well, Not this in that is that outfit. <laughs> I mean, who's having toast for their Christmas dinner? That's my question. Some people will know. be. Where is there a toaster? We're talking about buffet on the hands. I don't feel like uh, listening to. I don't know where listening. I am. You're distracted <laughs> by the buffet, have, the I magic mic toys. <laughs> And lovely, look at this hairstyle. Oh. This is magnificent. It's like a tsunami, isn't it? <laughs> it's wonderful. It's just kind of waving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Have not, you like, got it's hair? not as reckless as a, as a tsunami, but... I, I do, but I, I, w I don't want to take the hat off because I don't want to, again, upstage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've already done enough. It's good. <laughs> I feel so underdressed now. <laughs> no, you're doing the best you can now with he's, what you have. He's, no, coming, that's okay. in a, been... he's coming in a sequin jumpsuit and a yes. sequin espadrille and he doesn't want to upstay. Yeah, I think yeah. they're just his pyjamas. Yeah. <laughs> Are they? I, I've barely slept, Gretel. So. <laughs> what happens if you combine an iconic Aussie cake with one of our favourite snacks? Smith's Chips is making lamington-flavoured potato chips, which it says caters for the growing demand for sweet and savoury combinations. Now, I have a bowl here for you to try, Gretel. Thank you. Take one and pass oh. them down to the boys. So can, can, can someone explain to me what lamington... Oh, oh. It's a, it's a, it's it's a, a cheap a, cake covered in coconut. It. Okay. It's like our national d uh, dish, really. Right. It's a sponge cake covered in coconut, chocolate and, and so coconut. The, so this lot have made crisps, have they? Mm -hmm. Yes. So they've made potato chips. Have you chips. eaten one yet? No, I haven't tried one. You've Let's got go. to. Let's It'll they, affect the segment. Well, tell us, no. well, no, tell thanks. us okay. honestly what you Ooh. think. Well, it makes me think, why don't we just have a lamington? Oh, no. sticking it in chip? Hang on. It's disgusting. This is... Is oh. this a sponsored segment? Because if it is, it's fantastic. If they're paying me, <laughs> I love isn't. it. But yeah. if I'm honest, this is the worst thing I've put in my it mouth. Really and that is saying something, honey. <laughs> G-rating, G-rating. Uh, good morning, Australia. Good morning. Um, wow. But perhaps there are other flavours we could try. Dirt would be slightly Dirt better lovely. than that. Yeah, look, I don't think that's going to How are you going to put no. this in between two pieces of white bread with the butter? I don't think so, darling. <laughs> this is... You're back at the toaster. Hideous. You need this to keep away from the carbohydrates. I do, honey. Well, how many points are in one of those chips, Sam? That's what I want to know. 
<laughs> not even I only had schedule. one. That's they're not, they're not oh. great, are they? You've just eaten your whole day of calories. No, 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 no. One little one. If Niall, I wish we had a real lamington for you to try because lamingtons are delicious. They to are. be honest, I've never been a huge fan of coconut anyway, but I don't see why they would. I don't, I don't know who. Imagine sitting around mm. a boardroom table saying, I'll tell you what, we're going to stick a birthday cake in a crisp. Yeah. That's not that's not a great idea in my but eyes. The, the Especially when it already exists as a cake exactly. and a biscuit. Yeah, just leave it to the cake. Well, I suppose the people at these chip companies have to make their money and come up with new ideas all the time, but. I, I, yes, look, I, if that is uh, the way we are going into 2020, <laughs> let me leave now, darlings. I mean, this and is. And can you believe, this is not good. with all the calamities throughout the world, global, financial, it's the chip that's bothering you? Mm -hmm. I can't believe it's the, that's the topic we decided to talk about here on the news feed, darling. <laughs> Trump, Brexit, this, that, you know. I, Hans, we'll get your opinions yeah, on the nation. Thank you. I've, I've got a few opinions, honey. <laughs> we've solved, we've oh. definitely solved of the world's problems. We love you all. Yeah. Thank you. It has been a, a thrill to have oh, you all here. I have to Thank agree. You. Thank you. Hands Niall, you're... touch whatever you want now. There you go. Because you've got that one thing. <laughs> Hans is going to be back on the morning show as well. I am. Yes. With costume changes. Oh. I'm a, I can check dress up later on. <laughs>